Legged locomotion is a complex control problem that requires both accuracy and robustness to cope with real-world challenges. Legged systems have traditionally been controlled using trajectory optimization with inverse dynamics. Such hierarchical model-based methods are appealing due to intuitive cost function tuning, accurate planning, and most importantly, the insightful understanding gained from more than one decade of extensive research. However, model mismatch and violation of modeling assumptions are typical sources of faulty operation and may hinder successful sim-to-real transfer. Simulation-based reinforcement learning, on the other hand, results in locomotion policies with unprecedented robustness and recovery skills. Yet, all learning algorithms struggle with sparse rewards emerging from environments where valid footholds are rare, such as stepping stones or gaps. In this work, we propose an approach that combines the advantages of both worlds to simultaneously achieve greater robustness, foot placement accuracy, and terrain generalization. We evaluate the accuracy of our hybrid locomotion pipeline on terrains with sparse contact locations, where pure data-driven methods are prone to fail. Furthermore, we demonstrate superior robustness in the presence of slippery or deformable ground when compared to model-based counterparts. During training, we use a trajectory optimizer to generate desired motions at a frequency of approximately 2 Hz. The network policy, which partially observes these reference signals, is encouraged to track the foothold plan. We trained over 4,000 robots in parallel for two weeks on various terrain types. The simulation environment covered a surface area of more than 76,000 square meters, which is roughly the size of 14 football fields or 10 soccer fields. Throughout the entire training process, we generated and learned from more than 23 years of optimized trajectories. During deployment, we increase the update rate of the planner to match the policy frequency. This ensures fast, reactive behavior when dealing with dynamic obstacles, external disturbances, modeling errors, and map occlusion. While effective in simulation, model-based controllers often lack appropriate robustness. Failure or degraded tracking performance are commonly observed reactions when confronted with model uncertainties and unexpected environmental changes. We employ a model-based high-level planner and pair it with a low-level RL tracking policy. The learned recovery and reflex skills allow the robot to respond gracefully to unforeseen disturbances, such as collapsing ground. In such scenarios, visual perception and proprioception significantly deviate from each other. Equally severe map distortions also arise in the presence of soft terrain. Slippery ground and rolling obstacles are other examples where modeling parameters exceed the robustness margins accounted for in model-based control. Just like the state-of-the-art RL policies, our method succeeds under all these aspects. Locomotion was learned with perceptive feedback. Nevertheless, the hybrid control architecture is even effective in the case of blind locomotion, for example, when the perception pipeline fails. While locomotion on gaps and stepping stones is theoretically possible, good exploration strategies are required to learn from the emerging sparse reward signals. So far, these terrains could only be handled by specialized policies which intentionally overfit to one particular scenario or a selection of similar terrain types. Conversely, trajectory optimization has demonstrated remarkable generalization across diverse terrain geometries. By observing demonstrations for optimal foot placement, the policy learns how to confidently overcome narrow obstacles such as beams. Model-based methods are aware of geometrical edges in the map and, to increase safety and stability, typically select only footholds far away from those. Consequently, stairs can be traversed without slipping off the edges, leading to smooth and energetic motions. While structural or environmental decomposition may contribute to the overall suboptimality, these simplifications were found useful for extracting good local solutions when interaction points are rare. Guided by such motions, the robot can overcome complex stepping stones. Moreover, 
the proposed pipeline is even successful when the stones exhibit significant height differences or when the objects move when stepped on. The robot is also able to traverse large gaps of 60 centimeters in length while operating in kinematic limits. Any mall can reliably climb up 40 centimeters. Unfortunately, kinematic simplifications prevent the reference motions to be feasible for taller objects. To address the limitations of the underlying planner, we deploy the Learn Tracking Controller with a more complex kinodynamic MPC method. With the improved setup, the robot can now clear objects up to 48 centimeters. Our results demonstrate the potential of a hybrid locomotion pipeline that combines the accuracy and agility of model-based planners with the robustness of RL control strategies. The marriage of these two control paradigms enables legged robots to overcome complex environments that either method alone would struggle with, as such terrains are commonly found in construction sites, mines, and collapsed buildings. This approach could help advance the deployment of autonomous legged machines in the fields of construction maintenance, and search and rescue.